Oh, like I said, that's all I had. I didn't know you was you charging have, me that you much. Knew, you knew what it was. You knew what it was before you came here. No, but the thing of it is, you're trying to charge me too. So I gave no, you what I had. I'm trying to charge you too much. You knew it was two fifty. You knew it was two fifty. And I only got one fifty though, Shy. That's the thing. Subs and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Today's video I bring to you two black women fighting at the salon. The one that did her hair, which is a stylist, told her her hair styling was two fifty dollars. Why she says she only have one fifty dollars, and that's what she's gonna pay for the hair. So I'm gonna play the video. I will play the full video, then come back and discuss about it. Oh, like I said, that's all I had. I didn't know you was you charging have, me that you much. Knew, you knew what it was. You knew what it was before you came here. No, but the thing of it is, you trying to charge me too. So I gave no, you what I had. You weren't trying to charge you too much. You knew it was two fifty. You knew it was two fifty. And you I only got one fifty though, shy. That's you the thing. Uh, one fifty. One fifty. What the fuck? I look like Joe Sausage head. So what I supposed to do? Cause you done did I don't my know hair. What I'm supposed to do? Maybe you can take this off, and maybe you can go get the other hundred. I, I'm not finna take my hair Girl, off that you, you just it. did. What I look like? Let you take my hair off over a hundred dollars. You're definitely finna take it off. I'm not finna take if my wig off. hundred dollars. You're definitely finna take. No, it. No, I could definitely probably bring it back to you, but I'm no. definitely not finna let you take my hair off. Well, baby, you finna do something. Cause ain't nobody going out of here without my hundred dollars. Oh, I'm leaving. I'm you're le definitely not gonna go out of here without my hundred dollars. Girl, I'm leaving. Mine. What you're not gonna do is go out of here without you without my hundred dollars. <laughs> Baby, I'm leaving. That's what you're not gonna do. Show I don't care about you stand. I got Girl, you on live. I got, got you on live, and I'm finna go. Nobody, no, just go ahead and no, let me go. No, ain't nobody going nowhere. I don't care about you being on live. Yeah, I'm on live because I, I want them to know how you doing. Because if you touch you, my hair, man, you if you touch my line, hair, hair it don't head. matter. I gave you 150. Give me, give me my 150 back. Just give me my 150 back. I don't smoke crack. Give me my 150 back then. I don't smoke crack on Wednesdays. The hell? Well, I'm finna go. you got here. No, I didn't know you was charging yes, me all of that. Me. No, I did yes, not. Okay, well, let me out. Let me out. No, let me out. Let me no, out. No, I will post the message. Girl, go ahead. She, she, she do all of this on live, y'all. Yeah, I'm putting you on live. I'm putting you on live. She knew how much I charged. She knew how much I charged for she got here. So damn all of that. Because I didn't have enough. I don't care. I don't care. What you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do? do? I have what I have. Okay, okay. I got you on live. I got you it's on live. Good. It's okay, but it's you good. need to move. Well, you need to move. Live. I'm live glad know you owe me a hundred dollars. Live know you owe me a hundred dollars. That you ain't gonna get. Hell. That you ain't gonna get. Honey. Girl, but like I said, I'm finna go. She gonna try to tell me, tell me I got to pay her no, another hundred dollars. No, you you're told me one fifty. You you're told me one fifty. You told me one piece. Okay, it is what it is at the end of the day. I ain't got it. So what 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 what's next? You show. What's next? Get the rest of it. That's what that means. Uh -huh. Okay. Get I got the, the I got to leave to go get the rest, get the rest of it. Of I got to leave to go get the rest of it. I'm not taking my wig off, well, man. You got me fucked up. Baby, you can take that off. No, you can take that off. I can give my motherfucking money. I'm not finna sit here and argue with you. Just let me out. I don't care about you calling your cousins, you your sisters, none of them. I don't I care. Never, I ain't never, anybody know me, no, I ain't never had to call nobody. Listen, give me the rest of my money. I gave you what I had. I gave you what I had. Well, you got more. I ain't got, got no more. more. You should get, you should have, you I ain't got no more. Before you I got ain't here. got no more. But you, you can move. I'm trying, no. I'm trying to leave y'all. No. No. no, I'm trying to leave y'all. No, no, I'm trying to leave. No, no, I'm trying to leave. No, sure ain't, sure ain't. That's all right, because I got it all on camera, baby. I got it all on camera. Well, I would tear this shop up. I would tear this shop up in here, baby. Girl, please. You don't want me to get out of here in a minute, because I'm going to tear this shop up. Well, once you get to spin it, you better spin for both of us, because I want my money. What money? What money, Shaw? What book. money do I owe the you? I gave you? Where the money at that I gave you? You ain't got to keep putting it on my bald head, baby. I'm going to put it You ain't got to keep putting it on. I don't got no wig on. You ain't got to keep putting it on my bald head. Girl. Just give me my money. Get that motherfucking camera off. 
I don't know. Is it just me or the two black women, they look alike? I feel like they're sisters or, you know, they are related somehow. I feel like this is a skit, but I'm not sure about it. What do you guys think? I would like to know what you think down in the comment section. Or not, regardless, we're going to talk about our opinion about this particular matter because this always happens. This happens normally at the salon and to black people that own business. I feel like when black people want to patronize their fellow black people, they they don't respect them but when it's the other race they just you know they just pay whatever bill that comes their way anyways does the hair watch 250 dollars i would say no i would say no but then a price is a price whatever she calls for a price she has already told you before you started making the hair you have to pay for it and that's on period so a lot of creators got talking about this particular issue which i'm going to put their stitches in this video for you all to like I said, that's all I had. I didn't know you was charging me that much. This is an interesting rabbit hole. And so, you know, the day the last day of the year, I said I wasn't going down rabbit holes. But I went down this one. Now, this particular video that I stitched, it got, I think, it got four or five parts, right? Don't know what's going on. Couldn't really catch some of it. I got a little bit of commentary. I don't know. I don't know if this the girlfriend to the girl with the no Christmas gift. I don't know. So, what I'm thinking happened... You can catch up because I do edit all four of the videos. So just go on my page, look at all the duets. So I think what happened is when she went and bought this wig from the girl, maybe the girl was, was cheating with her with her. She got the information. So then she went and got her hair done. Then she was short getting her hair done. The wig didn't get snatched because she home. So then she came back on live when she home. And she and um they're gonna get some straightening tomorrow. So I'm gonna go back on her page, right? And I'm gonna see if tomorrow already came. And if tomorrow came, then either I'm going to do a duet or a stitch. But this is a good rabbit hole. I pretty much like this rabbit hole. Don't know really what's going on. You got to do a lot of context clues because they just real, you know what I'm saying? Not saying, they saying the same word over and over. Like, I, I got it. I, I'm a, you know, that kind of stuff. You got to read in between the lines. And then the girl that's talking, I'm thinking somebody got caught cheating. But she did not pay the $100. I'm letting y'all know that right now. Now, it's a rabbit hole. Okay, we like five videos in. I do edit all the videos. Okay, so if you see this, go to my page and look at all the videos. I do edit them. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm about to go back on her page to see if tomorrow already came and see if something went down tomorrow. I'm gonna keep y'all posted. This is good. This is good, bitch. Crime Watch with a K. Crime Watch with Kim with a K. Right? This this it. Because this is good. I like this rabbit hole. Y'all stay tuned. Go on my page. Go ahead. I don't know how to do the add and add and add and add and add. You'll see it. Thank you. Yeah, hey, I didn't know you was charging you knew, me that much. You knew, you knew what it was. You knew what it was before you came here. She know good and well she don't got to be charging that damn girl no motherfucking 250 Got that bitch out here looking like James Brown. <laughs> Look at the motherfucking bitch. <laughs> Like I said, that's all I had. I didn't know you was charging me that much. $250 for that. The lace is looking back at you. I can understand maybe 100 if she had to braid the girl's hair underneath or whatever. But $250, girl. Like I said, that's all I had. I didn't know you was charging me that much. The reason why some of these stylists keep getting played and nail techs keep getting played is because they're not telling people like, hey, I need my money up front. I feel bad for this person that put in all this effort, all her hard work, and for a client to not even be able to pay her the full price when she already know what the price was before she got there. Start making these people pay y'all up front, guys. I'm telling you, it will work so much better. You won't have to go through this. Charge you too much. You knew it was two fifty. You knew it was two fifty. Okay, so please, for context, click on the whole video and watch it. I guess what my question is: you could still see the lace, and she's charging two fifty for a wig install. And who out here in these streets is paying two hundred and fifty dollars to a? To put on a lace front wig when you can go to YouTube with practice and do that shit yourself. Is 
this is what's this is what's happening. You're charging two hundred and fifty dollars to put on a lace front wig, hair that belonged to someone else. Is this what's going on? Because I'm in the wrong business. I need to take a class and do some fucking wig installs if that's what's going on around here. You knew it was two fifty. And I only got one fifty though, Shy. That's the I swear the audacity in the beauty industry runs so high. How dare somebody go and get a service that's worth two fifty that they knew was gonna be two fifty and then say, I'm only gonna pay you hundred and fifty dollars. And then you have comments like these saying that, oh, the the lace is looking at me, it's not worth it, blah, 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 blah. It don't matter what we think is worth it. She knew what it costs. And it may not have been worth $250, but sister was swinging that hair like it was worth $250. I'm sure that there's many people who look at my work and they're like, oh, that's not worth $280. But it doesn't matter what you think. That's my fee. That's what it costs. You either can afford it or not. And just like what was displayed in this video, you guys have got to stop going and getting luxury services and being bougie, but then telling the service provider what you're going to pay. That's tacky. Stop doing that. Hey, I didn't know you was you charging knew, me that you much. Knew, you knew what it was. You knew what it was before you came here. Now, this is some trifling mess now. You're going to go to an appointment. You knew how much it costs because stylists ain't about to do your hair and not tell you how much for they, you know, because you got to make a deposit and all that now. That lady wanted 250 You go to the appointment. You paid something. And you're going to tell her after she done did it, oh, I only gave you what I had. Oh, you try and get your ass cut. Mm -mm. You want that ass beat. I just got my hair done like on like two weeks now. And... I knew I had enough for what I wanted. So, what you're supposed to do, look at what your stylist can do. Or tell her what you, another style you might want to, you know, can get away with. Or let her know what you're working with, with the money, with the coin. And then, you'll find something else. And y'all work it out before the service happens. Because th that's really how p people <laughs> play play with your styles if you want to. You better have their money. You can't be doing that and she know better. That's all I had. Couldn't have been me. Mm -mm. Couldn't have been me. And that's disrespectful. Oh, that's disrespectful. Man. Come on now. Shoot, stylists be helping our community out and you trying to tell me. That's all I had. <laughs> she should have snatched that damn wig off. I know I would have snatched that bitch right off her head. So after this, my channel doesn't support hate speech violence. So when you want to put your opinion, kindly make it respectfully. I'd love to hear what you think about this down in the comment section. i love to see you guys comment on my post down in the comment section. And yeah, we come to the end of the video. I'd like to know what you think. And thank you guys so much for sticking around to this point. And of course, I hope you watch my next video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.